It's the feast day of St. Benedict. He's the founder of Western monasticism and the subject of a painting at the National Gallery of Art. Joining us now is Jem Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Welcome back to the program. Thank you, Lauren. We're going to take a look at a picture for, that's at the National Gallery of Art here in Washington, D.C. It's Tell us about this miracle of St. Benedict. It's in a 15th century painting. So much of what we know about St. Benedict comes to us from the writings of Pope Gregory the Great. Uh, in his dialogues, Pope Gregory tells a story which is depicted in this beautiful 15th century painting. As the story goes, uh, a young boy named Placidus lives in the monastery where St. Benedict is abbot, and he's sent to the nearby river to fetch water. Of course, the currents are too strong, and he starts to drown. And we can the see that on the right side of the painting. It looks to me like it's almost two different paintings. That's right, but it's really the story because the abbot Benedict senses that this boy is in danger. And so on the left side of the painting, you see the abbot Benedict sending one of his monks, Morris, out to rescue the boy. And on the right side, uh, Morris is rescuing him from the raging waters. Now, when the boy tells the story of his experience, he said that uh, the moment he was pulled out of the water, he felt the abbot Benedict's cloak overshadowing him. So this is why it's wow. considered a miracle of St. Benedict. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And do you know why the right side is all red and the rest looks like it's nature? Right, and this is just to give contrast. contrast. This is just to give a sense of, uh, you know, movement mm -hmm. to the painting that this is what the story is all about. Why is St. Benedict so important in the history of the church? You know, St. Benedict wrote a, a guide for his monks and nuns that became known famously as the Rule of St. Benedict. And the Rule of St. Benedict was an important tool, powerful tool, in the evangelization of Europe. Because the monks and nuns who followed St. Benedict um, really evangelized, transformed uh, medieval culture, uh, transformed Europe uh, through prayer, manual labor, uh, their love of learning, and a life of virtue. Uh, so they rescued, really, culture uh, with the light of the gospel in the same way that this boy is being rescued from oh. the raging waters. Wow, that just ties it all together, doesn't it? Now, it's always such a pleasure to have you. And I have to tell you, my mother loves these segments. Thank <laughs> so you. So we'll keep you coming back. Jem Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Thank you, Lauren.